Greetings. How you all doing? Well, today's video is about Windows NT 3.51. Is it still usable in 2018? Let's figure it out. Well, the answer for that is either yes and no, because it depends on what you're planning to do with the system like are you gonna use that for old games then I don't think so because unlike 3.11 and 3.1 which were 16-bit applications uh, Windows 351 is 32-bit it's part of, of NT which stands for new technology and was uh, Microsoft's first leap into the 32-bit universe so no it's not quite backwards compatible you are gonna run through issues with old Microsoft DOS games and old 16-bit games so no I don't think so but like if you're if you want to use it for like office work let's just say office suite stuff like Microsoft Office itself and Lotus stuff like that well maybe because there is, it, it, it's not quite uh, the experience. Let me just tell you that regarding you know compatibility with new formats, mostly for Microsoft Office, which you're probably gonna run into a few issues. Because like it's not .docx, it's .doc, so. Like Office 2000 files will open just fine. Office 2003, 97 with a few formatting issues, but yes, it will work. Here's Microsoft Office. As you can see, there's PowerPoint, there's Access, there's Excel, and uh, interface is quite familiar. So yeah, as you could, you could probably use that for some Office work. Not a big deal here, at all. You could definitely, you know write your school projects university stuff and print but like you couldn't save it anywhere I mean you could use floppies but then again you would have to buy a floppy to USB drive so that like you could carry your stuff around because like no one has floppies anymore you know like most computers don't come with floppies they, they barely come with USB yeah I'm looking at you Apple they barely come with USB 3 let alone floppies so no you know it's not quite the thing you would carry around because no one would have a floppy uh, a floppy drive so that you could you know slide your floppy disk in and you know look at your documents or maybe play your PowerPoint presentation so no I don't think so not for that kind of usage but like if you want to just keep notes for yourself you if you're writing a secret book about how you like hamsters why not I mean no one would ever you know would never know how to turn on Windows 351 after all it's a little more complex than just normal Windows so yeah it would keep uh, people away if you want to hide like if you want to keep a uh, sort of diary and you know talk about your secrets, your deepest secrets, go for it, because it's it's probably the safest way to do that. But for off for serious work, I wouldn't say so. Like there's a few things in um, in this suite, not Microsoft Office, but Lotus down there that I would use today. I would definitely use like this one, the organizer. It was very popular back in the 90s and I kind of get why because it was dope it was really dope the dopest thing ever let me load one I made so that you guys can take a look at it it's, it's not serious of course it was just a joke with a few appointments and shit but as you can see it's it's pretty much like your very own schedule thingy and you can organize yourself the name says all like it's very clear very straightforward very simple to use but why would you buy like an old system or a no laptop or even I know like do Windows 351 for that you, you know it's pointless but it's fun it's cool I mean if you have money to spare why not I mean you could spare like 24 
25, 30 bucks on a small old laptop and then, you know, load a to organizer and use it to organize yourself. I mean, if you have the money to spare, why not? It's kind of good. I like it. But then again, there is a there is a lot of like even websites and applications for phones that do that better. So it's kind of pointless, but still fun because it feels really 90s. You know, you look at this shit. It's just it screams 90s all over the place. And it's cool. I would definitely use that. I mean, I'm serious. It's, if I really had a Windows 3.51 laptop, which I don't, it's an emulator. But if I had one, I would definitely use Organizer because it's kind of cool and it's simple to use. And uh, I don't know. There's, you know, the 90s factor. You know, it's kind of hype now, the whole 90s thing. But still, let's close that and move on to something even cooler which is of course Lotus Word Pro which is a word processor with samples and yes a very odd format which is MWP I don't know if that works today probably not but as you can see it looks amazing we have like a bunch of layouts which you could use for your own kind of stuff see company newswire and then it has a it's all formatted you just gotta get the text in, text in there and boom there you go it's not as straightforward as Microsoft Word but it's there it works and uh, there's free stuff that does it better now so no but it has a cool factor it's kind of charming you know and then we have like one two three which is pretty much excel we have the organizer we have a screen cam screen cam player dialogue editor i don't know <laughs> what would that work for like maybe for like novel writing or something i don't know but it's still pretty cool and you have a translator for macros so you can make your own macros for one two three so you know a few key shortcuts and shit pretty cool but usable today wouldn't say so I mean as I mentioned for yourself if you want to keep like your secret diaries and shit why not I mean it's the safest place ever to do that I would even say go further than that go like back in the day a few years back and use like Windows 2.1 because you gotta type win to boot into Windows unlike most people would not know how to do that so that's definitely the safest way to do that because people wouldn't know how to get to the system itself because 351 boots straight in, into the system it's way more advanced than 311 even though they share the same interface pretty much uh, one is 16 bit and this one is 32 bit which was quite nice but then again uh, we run into a second and big uh, major problem which makes it kind of useless for most of the daily tasks like web browsing for instance let's just say even though Windows NT uh, was pretty popular back then it was more aiming towards uh, business people so companies in general and not towards personal usage like it's not the kind of system you would buy for yourself like for your own fun to run games and shit no that was meant for the professional market so here's a problem because the professional market likes to be up to date and as soon as nt4 came out they updated and windows 3.51 got kind of abandoned it was left aside and uh, let's just say there's not enough software for it most of the time i mean there is some stuff that works like web browsers in general mm, wouldn't say so there's a way to get like Firefox 2 from 2007 2008 into it and browse like new internet kind of with a bunch of errors and you know f occasional freezing because you know it's a uh, early 32-bit platform it's very unstable it's definitely not suitable for actual internet but if you have the time to spare trying to figure out a good browser and get it to work, I did it. I tried Internet Explorer, Firefox, I tried Netscape, 
and no one worked. So I was like, dude, I, I, I won't spend any more of my time with that. I'm sorry, I give up. I, I swear to God, I tried a lot. I tried like five different web browsers and no luck. I mean, I got to the internet, I could open Google, but that was it. I mean, like if I wanted to go to a different website, like CNN or even, I don't know, something like Steam, it wouldn't load. So no luck regarding web browsing. I could go to Toasty Tech, which is an old website, so it makes sense that it loads. It's HTML4. But like any HTML5 website or SSL certified website would not load at all. It wouldn't even let me uh, go to my own website, <laughs> which is kind of concerning, but still it does make sense. I mean, it's from the 90s. It's 95. And uh, that's one more reason why you should not use it, because it came a little before Windows 95, which, you know, got way more popular than this one. And this one got forgotten pretty quickly. I mean, it, we were talking about in the 90s. Things were, you know, going pretty fast back then regarding uh, obsolescence. So, like, the system used to get obsolete in, like, one year, two years. So, you know... It, it got obsolete pretty quickly. It was not top of the line. Like 98, it would be pretty much useless already. I mean, you could browse the internet, definitely. But regarding software support, useless. So, yeah. It got abandoned pretty quickly. Like most old Microsoft uh, operate, operating systems. So, I wouldn't say it's usable today for, like, networking stuff, saving documents. But, like, if you... If you want to keep it for fun, like, I don't know, maybe you want to do your work in the old office and, you know, maybe with an emulator you could get those files out, like, you know, virtual floppies and then mount the image and get the document, but that's a lot of work. It's easier to just buy yourself Microsoft Office or install an old office on your very young computer like I did with Office 97 and boom, there you go, you have an office suite that works and you don't have the struggle. So, it's yes and no, but like, like I mentioned, it's only yes if you want to have some fun with an old OS, but like for daily usage as your daily driver, definitely not. Not even if you're an old school, dude, don't, just don't, for your own safety. I mean, it's, it, it's abandoned shit, so it's not safe at all, you don't have a firewall, you don't have any sort of defense. I wouldn't say, oh, it's dangerous to get viruses out, no, that's not a problem, because, like, who would bother uh, developing viruses for something that's abandoned, but, like, uh, that's not even the problem, I mean, browsing the internet, it's not possible, you can just open Google and that's it, old websites, like Facebook, Google Mail, no, that's not doable, you can barely open that, so, nope. I mean, what's the point of internet without YouTube or Google Mail or Facebook or Twitter? You know, it's just pointless. So, I want to say so. And, uh, before you guys say, oh, he's not connected to the internet, so, I can, uh, we do have internet, as you can see, let me show you. That's my server, by the way, it's not a local IP, it's because my d domain expired and I cannot bother paying for it because the site is kind of abandoned so I just have the IP now for the server and as you can see it has reply and uh, it works so yeah it's just that I have internet it's definitely not a problem it just did not work the browsers could only open Google even with the DNS setup and it was like translating the domains properly as it should but it was just not being able to handle all the awesomeness of internet so for old times sake and fun and keeping like maybe secret documents about like how you like cute stuff I don't know <laughs> it, it would work for that but for daily usage nah stay away from it like seriously it's too old I mean if you want to use an old system for the sake of saying oh look at me I like to use old stuff I'm different use Windows 98 uh, second edition mostly or even XP if you are willing to you know maybe get some viruses here and there 
Wait, don't, don't, don't use 351. Not for daily usage. I mean, if you have a vintage, oh my god, I feel so old. Haven't you call a 90s laptop vintage? Because, you know, I'm from, I'm vintage as well. Somewhat vintage then, because I'm from the 90s, so it makes me feel a little old, but still. If you have a vintage laptop and you have no use for it, like, can prob it can't probably catch the internet anymore and shit. I mean, install it, have some fun, play with the games, there's a lot of games, look at that. You can play Minesweeper, you can play Solitaire, you can play Free Cell, amazing. Yeah, you can definitely do that. But for daily usage, better stay away from it, because there's not much to offer. I mean, you can use Notepad, you could maybe do some calculations and a paintbrush, maybe Photoshop, old school Photoshop. But that's it, you're very limited. I mean, it's the 90s after all, and sadly, like, they could not stand against the test of time. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that and compare with, like, Windows 10 and shit. It's so different, yet so. It's kind of similar to a certain extent, but then again, nothing works anymore. Get some a bunch of old software and maybe mess a little bit with games and shit that work with 351, which is not gonna be easy to find. You have to find two 32 uh, bit uh, applications that are backwards compatible with 351 and not only Windows 95, which is quite the struggle. You won't find it, so you better make the jump to 95 if you want to have a retro gaming system. Like for Office Tools, yeah, maybe 351 does the trick. But then again, it's a workstation software which got outdated pretty quickly. So if you want to have a workstation OS, use NT4. Because 351 is just... It's abandoned. It was abandoned pretty quickly. And I mean, a few companies uh, maybe still use it for automation, stuff like that, but not for live usage, like internet and shit, they just use that for, you know, their internal, I don't know, maybe they have a sort of, uh, industry, uh, set up that needs Windows NT 351 to control it, like, I don't know, robot arm, arms and shit, I don't know, just, just, you know, an idea. But yeah, I don't see any other usage for that in 2018, so... If you wanna have some nostalgia and bring back some good memories, yeah, sure, but... For a daily driver, definitely not. It's not even... I mean, 90s stuff is useless now. It's, it's not even worth questioning that, because it's pretty obvious. I mean, support, safety, you know, internet... Uh, new, new internet standards, you know, they can't just cope with that anymore, so it's not doable at all. And uh, if you have money to spare on a vintage laptop just to mess around, yeah, why not? Or maybe an emulator like I'm doing here. It's fun, you can play around, see what works, what does not work, install some old software, bring back the memories. But for daily, that's not a good daily driver. It's what you got. You got pretty mad. I mean, I got mad yesterday trying to get an internet browser to work. It was just not easy at all. I mean, I got Google to open, so that's a plus, but like the rest was just a nightmare. System was freezing and hotting, and you know, no. So here's his, your answer if you want to mess around, fun. No intents regarding internet, gaming, yeah, sure, I mean, if you wanna have a cool vintage laptop to show off and look at me, I was a businessman in the 90s, even though I was born in 2000, you know, you know the joke still, yeah, you can make a, a pretty believable old workstation laptop, but for today's standards, nah, I stay away from it, because it's useless, but yeah. It's pretty much a digital museum, sort of. So that's it, guys. I hope you helped. Even though it was a very obvious question. But, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. And uh, hasta la vista, baby.